Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today, I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 139. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of this episode, so the cat logo and other blurs will have to come up. But if you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who uh, wants to support me and, uh, you know, I'll post all these reads without any blur filters and censorships uh, on my Patreon page, which is at patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> okay, so what happened? The cabinet room in the Western Empire. I don't know if the government officials here will take kindly to my presence, but... I must attend the meeting to get a sense of their views. Oh, here. Look at their outfits. It's so elegant. Seeing us working together on state affairs should help to bury the scandal about Henry. Her Majesty is joining us? Well, this is rather unexpected. Uh, oh. Mm. The cabinet meeting would now come to order. Oh, they're shouting and talking. As shocked as they were, it didn't take long for them to compose themselves and do their jobs. They only shooting themselves in the foot if they were to dis if they were too distracted by my presence to speak. Uh. -uh. I think I should only attend meetings if they directly pertain to my duties. That's what I did in the Eastern Empire. <laughs> very well. But funnily enough, today we'll be discussing something you're very familiar with. The next item on the agenda is about the spring water bandits that are running rampants in the borderlands. Huh? I anticipate that Her Majesty will be able to propose an effective solution, especially since she has experience dealing with these particular bandits in the Eastern Empire. Huh? Only one-fifth is considered to be a high risk of a bandit attacks, but is surrounded by five others. Dividing our forces among the six-fifths could leave us spread too thin to respond effectively in a crisis. Where do you suggest we deploy them? You're asking the Empress to deal with a, such a complex matter when she just she has only just assumed her role? Are you so incompetent that you can't handle it yourselves? The lords of the Eastern Empire are allowed to command private armies since the Emperor has an army of mages. However, only the Emperor can direct the military here. That means the Emperor alone bears the responsibility of marshalling military forces. There may be border guards stationed in the region already. But I must consider the effect that military support from the Emperor could have uh, on public opinions. We must strike first. Oh. We won't have to split our forces if we hit them before they attack the fifth in questions. Huh? And what will you do if that backfires and the bandit come back to take their revenge on the area? Or does the situation here not matter to you since you're from the Eastern Empire? Marquis Catron. I can tell that you don't know these bandits very well. Huh? They're driven entirely by greed. If they conclude something isn't worth it, they will give up and go after something else. Personal revenge will never be a motivation. Like you said, I'm from the Eastern Empire, so I know how they operate. Huh. Huh. For your plan to work, we must launch an attack that is aggressive enough to dissuade them from fighting us. But these bandits are formidable Formidable, formidable in battle. What you're suggesting is impossible. Lord Cosair can do it. He's defeated these bandits over 50 times. Huh? Oh, Lord Cosair? That's Her Majesty's brother, isn't it? I heard he's exceptional in combat. Well, I'm for it if he's agrees to fight them. Ugh. This guy. 
The Remarried Empress, episode 139. Once we decided on a strategy, a fighting force to neutralize the bandits was formed at once. My brother was asked to lead them. I heard Marquise Catron, Catron was given a severe dressing down by Her Majesty. Oh yes, he shut up immediately when His Majesty put Lord Cosser in charge of the attack. Look her outfit here, the detail. Of course, he was silenced. I came up with the plan that he asked for, and I even nominated someone to take care of this so-called impossible task. <laughs> I guess I'll be seeing my good old bandit friends again. You can count on me, Navier. My brother took down those bandits like it was his hobby, so I'm not very concerned about the battle. However, click, 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 click. Are you sure you won't regret it, Miss Mastis? Pardon? You turned on Lord Cosser when he asked if you wanted to go with him. Hmm. Oh, oh. Like I said before, my duty is for uh, to protect Her Majesty. I can spar with Lord Corsair after he returns. Oh my. Miss Rose. Oh. I remember you telling me that Miss Merlaney was not happy about Marquise Amaris adopting his nephew. What was his name? Yon. Yon? Yuan. Yuan? The two families have been joined by marriage before, plus the Duke's family readily agreed to the adoption because they thought Yuan's talents were being squandered, as his, as he is the third son. Are the Marquise and Mercionis unaware that Miss Merlaney wants to be the successor? Not exactly. They agreed to give Miss Merlaney the family fortune instead. More, uh, moreover, Yuan has always been a remarkably bright child. Then Miss Merlini must prove that she's much more capable than Yuan. I refuse to be a passive victim of Krista's threat. Invite the two of them to visit me. West Palace in the Eastern Empire. Your Majesty, the top contender for the maid positions have arrived. I only selected candidates whose par parents are prisoners like you ordered, but I'm not sure whether they'll be able to follow palace etiquette. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. A prisoner's child would likely face harsh judgment from society, and it would be hard for them to get a decent job. But I'm giving them the opportunity to be one of the Empress's personal maid. They'll all leave at the chance. So, you're the top con candidates. You all seem quite bright. However, I brought you here because of another issue. My favorite pearl earrings were in the room that you were waiting in just until just now. Oh. One of them is missing. One of you must have taken it. Which one of you did it? Uh, what? If you insist on covering for each other, I'll have no choice but to punish all of you. I'll give you some time to think carefully about what you want to say. Why is she so diabolical? Clap, clap, clap. What would you like to do to what would you like to do next, Your Majesty? Send them in one at a time after letting them stew for a while. Drop a hint that those who tell the truth won't be punished. It's important for a palace employee to handle things flex Flexibly, one word can either ruin their lives or award them with riches. For example, what this woman is doing right now. I saw someone in a green coat steal something and look around for the room suspiciously. <laughs> Have you decided who you're going with? I don't know if there is anyone suitable. <sighs> I'm going for her. Thus, let her know that she's been hired and send her home quietly. Now. Can you ask everyone else to come back in? What is she up to? 
I don't know what she's up to, and I just don't like it. <sighs> Rasta, 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 what are you thinking now? But for the Western Empire, I'm so proud of Navierre. She's running things so smoothly. She does not let anyone kind of kick her down, and she has a voice, and that is freaking awesome. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!